Hi guys and welcome back to this channel where we are trying to find the most exciting cars on the market that could bring you a lot of money. And today we have a Beamer you probably don't think of when searching for buying classic BMW. And it is probably a mistake. So BMW first series with six cylinder engine and rear wheel drive. Let's go! The exclusivity of this model is all about its technical characteristics. And while most of even hot hatchbacks have more weight on front wheels, BMW has a nearly 50-50 weight balance because of the rear wheel drive. And as for engine, it must be a six-cylinder, of course, because it makes this car absolutely unique. There were no more six-cylinders and rear-wheel drive hatchbacks if you don't call so, for example, Porsche Panamera, but this is absolutely different story. So, in the first generation, we have two different options to choose from, if we don't go for coupe or convertible, which I think is not so exciting and not so interesting, especially with six cylinders engine. First, we have a three doors hatchback, which goes with index E81, and five doors hatchback with index E87. And of course, uh, if I were you, I would absolutely prefer the three doors option. Mostly because it is very rare, comparing to the five doors. There were only 160,000 cars with three doors with all types of engines ever produced. And the second thing is that uh, I personally believe that three doors uh, hatchback is absolutely better looking than five doors option. While five doors car looks like uh, all other cars on the market, the three doors car looks really beautiful, sporty and fully energy loaded. As for engines, we have two different options. The first one is, I would say, classic N52 with straight six cylinders and it goes with versions from uh, 125i to 130i. And the second option is 135i, which goes with N54 engine, which is turbocharged. And this gives you more than 300 horsepower and a really, really fast car. And I would say this is a very hard question what to choose between these two options. On the one hand, you have a classic straight six without any turbochargers, which seems for me uh, more classic and uh, of course it is more reliable and on the other hand you have the turbocharged um, straight six as well uh, it is absolutely more powerful however it is not so reliable but as for me if i would choose such car i would first go for uh, both options and choose those that has a better condition because you don't have a lot of cars for choose in most of the markets. Okay, but if you decide to buy one of these classic cars that I believe is a piece of history because you don't have anything like that on the market, what should you go for? And of course we should check the condition of the car as detailed as it is possible. And first of all, like with all other cars, you should go for a good body and uh, to choose a car without any hard accidents. Better without any accidents and original paint. Because you can repair anything in the car except body that was crashed. As for my experience, and I used to sell a lot of used cars, it was very hard to find a good condition, even when these cars were uh, 3 to 5 years old. Let's be honest, nobody is buying 130i to go to the church on Sundays. And of course, you should check the condition uh, of the body very careful and also I recommend you highly recommend you to check the condition of suspension not only because of uh, some technical problems but also it could be kind of crashes that uh, didn't go to body but goes from the wheels to the suspension as for prices now you can find this car starting from six seven thousand uh, dollars but if we're looking for a good condition, a good 
example of the car then we are going to look for something starting from ten thousand dollars and this could be a great time to invest in first series because there are still some good uh, condition on the market especially on the developed market and also the car's uh, prices just um, stop to decrease and uh, started to increase so i believe that this is a great moment to grab one of these car i hope you enjoyed this video please comment below on uh, what you think about this model and also press the like button and subscribe if you want to have more cars investment opportunities thank you